It is interesting that CAR T cells have had such a transformative impact on patients with autoimmune indications. The reason it works is because we're targeting the CD19 antigen, which is not only present on malignant B cells, but it's also present on healthy B cells. And so when we put CAR T cells into a subject that target CD19, it creates this global immune reset. And what it's now become understood is that when you treat with a CAR T cell, you're getting a deep depletion of B cells, not just in the periphery, but in the tissues as well. And those are the pathogenic B cells that are causing disease. We are gonna initiate our trial this year in lupus, systemic sclerosis, myositis, with the potential to expand to other indications like RA, where the treatment options there are somewhat putting patients into remission, but not completely curing their disease like we've seen with lupus. To date, most of those therapies are anti-inflammatory therapies. There are some B cell depleting agents, but they don't create this global immune reset that we're seeing with CAR T cells. For our autoimmune phase one trial, we're also quite excited to test the ability for this platform to work without lymphodepletion because most CAR T cell platforms right now are using lymphodepleting chemotherapy. And if we can use our switchable CAR T cell and have responses in these patients that are just as good as what they've seen with conventional CAR T cells, but not using lymphodepleting chemotherapy, we can avoid a lot of the adverse effects from that chemotherapy, such as secondary infections.